Hey, what's good guys? Cameron here. Chapter three, season four is just around the corner. It releases either on the 17th or the 18th. And so we only have three or four days before the new season begins. And I thought what better way to celebrate that than give you all the best tips for increasing your performance before the season begins. That way, right when the season begins, you guys will have the best performance over everybody else. And especially for competitive and arena players, it's just gonna give you an edge right away when the season starts. So the first thing I recommend is clearing your app local data for Fortnite, I can show you how to do that. So what you're first gonna do is type percent app data percent sign, and it'll find this folder here. You're gonna open that. And once you're in app data, you'll see three options. Double click on local. So the first thing you wanna do is just locate Fortnite game. Once you actually find it here, all you're gonna do is delete this. Sounds a little scary, but this is local data. It comes right back. But what this is essentially doing is clearing all previous updates because if you guys don't know, every single Fortnite update just gets stacked, layered and layered and layered. And if you don't delete your Fortnite game folder every season or so, or every couple seasons, um, it can actually make it a little slower, make your performance not as good because it's storing tons of local data from previous updates. And while we're at it, another way you're gonna help speed up your PC a little bit, come up here to your search bar and type in percent temp percent and literally everything in here you can just delete. Yeah, so when you see all these files in here, these are all just random temporary files that actually slow down your PC over time as well. So you're just gonna delete these as well. Don't forget to save the space on your PC to go into your recycling bin and then just fully delete them permanently in here. Cause that's just again gonna make it uh, you know speed up a bit because there's less files stored on your hard drive. Something I like to do every now and then before a new season is clean up your drives. Um, even solid state drives can get a little bogged down. Another thing that's really good to do every few seasons or so is clean up your disk. Um, so go to disk cleanup. It's a free app on Windows 10 and 11. And then we're gonna select whichever drive you have Fortnite on. I have it on my C drive, click OK. And this is again going to automatically clear a bunch of random stuff, uh, temporary files, downloaded files, like just random things. And it does speed up your PC a bit. I'm going to save 1.2 gigabytes by doing this. And don't worry, that step won't delete any of your files. Again, it's all just temporary and unused cached files. So the next thing we need to do is actually fire up Fortnite because what this is going to do is reestablish your local Fortnite game folder so it'll come back into your file explorer and we're going to do another tweak in that Fortnite game folder. When you first load up Fortnite again, you're going to get a bunch of weird loading bars and also your lobby screen is going to look totally different. So you notice this weird kind of blue background. That's because part of the cached files are the background for that season. But don't worry, when you refresh the game, you get your normal background back. Uh, you also get trailers. But the first thing we want to do is jump into our settings and change all of our settings back to the way we like it. So for me, I'm going to have to restart again because I use performance mode as I'm sure like 99% of you guys do too. So once you got all your settings just the way you want them, go ahead and apply that and then close the Fortnite game. So the next thing we need to do is optimize your new Fortnite game folder that's been created in local. And the reason we want to do this is because it's going to make it super smooth for the brand new season. All you're going to do is go back to that percent app data percent sign and scroll down to your new Fortnite game and double click on saved and then go into config and then windows client and then here's your game user settings don't double click it quite yet first we need to go into properties and make sure it is not on read only this one's already not on read only so we're good now we want to go ahead and open it and you'll see all this stuff in here but do this for me hit control and f this is gonna search and we wanna find latency. So we're gonna click this down arrow till we get latency. We're gonna turn latency tweak one to true. Latency tweak two, we wanna have on two and then keep going down. And then there's low input latency mode is enabled. We want that on true. And that is everything. You're gonna go ahead and close this out, hit save and then go into your properties again and don't forget to tick this so it's on read only that way the fortnite game doesn't automatically make changes to that one last thing of course i mean if you guys have any lag be sure to check out my video on how to reduce lag i made an entire video in depth on how to get the best ping possible for your region no matter where you live you can get a little bit better ping 
by watching that video and doing some of those steps. Also, a quick shout out to Noping. It is the affiliate on the channel. If you guys haven't heard of Noping, it's a gaming VPN software that can improve your ping in some cases and offers a more consistent connection to different servers localized to you. Uh, download no ping in the link down below in the description and as always hope you guys have an awesome day i'll catch you in the latest video peace out for now